Mesolithic hunters started to alter the landscape in significant ways. It was a gradual process of a clearing here and a burning there, but the repeated nature of these activities and a growing population resulted after hundreds of years in a patchwork of open spaces and clumps of forests. This was the first substantial impact that humans had on the European landscape. How did this slow process of landscape change work? Let's consider the use of landscape in northern England, say at the mouth of the River Tyne. Much of the year people stayed in semi-permanent camps in the lowlands, close to the coast. Around these settlements the forests were cleared for fuel wood and to attract grazing animals that could be hunted. The coastal waters and river inlets were rich sources of fish and shellfish, such as mussels. These were easy to collect and a perfect source of protein. In order to collect seafood, temporary camps were set up in spring at the coastal harvesting areas. In late summer, bands of hunters migrated inland to set up base camp upriver. From base camp, small groups set out to hunt the upland moors. In order to enhance their success, areas of woodland and moorland were burned. Selective burning is a traditional method of environmental management used by hunters and pastoralists all over the world. Heather burning is still practiced in upland Britain today. Upland burning happened on a large scale during the Mesolithic period. Charcoal layers dated at about 6 to 8 thousand years ago are found all over Britain in peat bogs and soils and is evidence of recurring burning of upland vegetation. In addition to burning, it is very likely that Neolithic peoples manipulated streams by building small dams to create ponds in order to attract all kinds of animals and to use it for fishing. Perhaps some small forest clearings were made on the banks of these artificial ponds to accommodate animals and to make hunting easier. As a result of all these activities, a small group of hunter-gatherers could produce a large detectable environmental impact. As populations grew, more and larger areas became affected and this led to the development of a patchwork landscape of forests interspersed with clearings. Since the hunter-gatherers were living most of the year in one location and used only a limited area, they can be regarded as semi-sedentary. This fact, and their impact on the environment, foreshadowed the coming of agriculture. 